Hello chess friends and welcome to you out of chess channel and welcome to a very cool game that I prepared for you today it's again a great game played by the new Stockfish version by the new Stockfish 14 engine and uh, recently we have seen really some sharp attacks played by Stockfish in really some wild openings but I was wondering also a little bit how is Stockfish handling maybe this more positional game so how is Stockfish handling maybe the Rui Lopez the Berlin defense or maybe uh, the close Sicilian ideas maybe the French defense maybe uh, the Slav defense really when it comes to this firm and compact setups in the center how is stockfish handling uh, these types of structures these types of positions and i found really a great game played by stockfish against another top engine fire in the french defense it's i think a great game with the most important strategical elements of the french defense and with a really a brilliant moment in the end be prepared this will be a really immortal game because you'll witness a very cool king attack played by stockfish so stack stockfish will include the king into the game in a very very uh, cool stage of the game stockfish will try to attack its opponent king uh, with the, with its own king which was really i think a beautiful element so be prepared i think this was simply a brilliant positional but also then in the end a tactical game so let's check out now what happened so here e4 played by stockfish we have now e6 by this other engine fire d4 d5 knight to c3 uh, most of the times you see black playing the whenever variation with bishop to b4 but here we have now knight to f6 and now comes already sort of a decision by by stockfish Stockfish plays now the move e5, advance the pawn. Of course, this advanced pawn comes with the tempo. And now after move knight to d7 and f4, we have now the classical variation, the shiny system. And uh, we can already say many things about this position. Uh, if you have followed my YouTube chat channel, I've covered this French the defense series from white and from black perspective. As I said, you can say many, many things already about this position. So what we can notice now immediately that white will try to attack, of course, the king side because this pawn chain is showing us the direction of the attack black is of course trying to trade off uh trying to attack here uh the queen side with some c5 moves and similar ideas what we can um, uh, say about the peace activity we can say of course that white's dark square bishop is not a good piece so black's dark square bishop is a perfect piece because it controls this diagonal so what uh, when it comes to positional trades of pieces of course white would love to give up maybe this bishop for this bishop on the other hand uh, white's light square bishop is a perfect piece because it controls both of these diagonals when it comes maybe to d3 on the other hand uh black's light core bishop is a bad piece because uh here it's all simply blocked out by its own pawn chain so it's a really a blocked out bishop so what black would love to do is of course to trade off maybe the light core bishop somehow for white light core bishop when it comes to knights i think in this uh, types of position knights are perfectly fine here uh so as i said because you can use your knights very very effectively your knights can always change the direction of the attack you can make play many maneuvers because the pawn structure in the center is closed and sometimes you cannot find good squares on the board and of course with the knights you can always as i said found some kind of a route to improve simply your minor piece so as i said we have said now many things as i said the only uh, let me see five moves have been played and we can t uh, say many many things about this position so as i said uh peace activity here we have said which bishop is good which bishop is bad knights are good and where is the direction of the attack so uh, here c5 immediately play by uh, um, uh, by this entered fire we have knight to f3 now the battle is simply centralized around the square d4 we have now knight to c6 bishop to e3 of course protecting the d4 square we have now a c takes a d4 knight to d4 and now bishop to c5 simply continue the progress here around the center because here knight takes c6 it's not a good choice uh, you don't want to do that because after b takes c6 okay you can maybe trade off uh sort of this bad piece for black's good piece but it's a huge difference now this position is not closed anymore we have said that only this bishop's activity is uh, countable like like i said in the beginning when uh the pawn structure in the center is closed now the pawn structure in the center is not closed anymore because now knight to d7 will happen and then c5 uh, maybe even d4 so you see the flexibility of the c pawn and deep on is really great so as i said black will find a way uh, to get this pawn rolling and also then the bishop is becoming more and more powerful because after potential c5 d4 this light square bishop in the in the continuation of the game of blacks could be really a monster bishop so as i said uh, you should watch out also for this early trade of pieces because uh, you don't want to trade off as i said knight c6 and then bishop to uh, c5 wouldn't be a good idea because you're connecting simply black's pawn so after move queen to d2 uh, 
uh, that was the next move by Stockfish 14 here uh, this other engine fire uh, castle simply and now queen side casting really really wild stuff you see we have now opposite side casting which means now we are simply attacking uh, black's king with some pawn moves here on this uh, on the king side and of course uh, black is trying also to attack the king side with some pawn moves on the queen side so uh, who is faster on the attack will probably win the game so here after move casting we have now a6 played by uh, fire fire is preparing now the move b5 we have now h4 uh, here played by stockfish uh, we have now knight takes d4 bishop to d4 and now b5 b5 is of course a great pro progress idea with the potential b4 move uh, black is then very very dangerous so that's why a3 here played by stockfish we have now rook to b8 again uh, fire is preparing further this move b4 and now stockfish makes a simple decision uh, gets rid of this bad piece although this bishop was centralized but still i'm pointing out it was a little bit blocked out by its own pawn so so far it's a good choice now uh here to play the move bishop to take c5 because after knight takes c5 now a great defensive move here played by stockfish it's the move b4 although you're weakening a little bit your pawn structure in front of the king but actually the knight doesn't have good squares that's the main issue here because there are basically now three choices and um, none of them are so so great i think because uh here you can try knight takes e4 it's not possible because of this tactics knight takes e4 d takes e4 and then you lose the queen on the d file so what you can also do is this move uh, knight to a4 but then actually white has a great move uh has simply the move here the rook to h3 and you see uh although um as i said black has advanced the pawns here on the queen side it's actually a good defensive strategy to play this rook lift idea because after knight to c3 we can play then queen to c3 or rook to c3 and i don't think that black in every in any case will take out this pawn because uh sometimes when we, when we have this opposite side attack games you want to even sacrifice some pawns just in order to open files against your opponent's king so as i said even if this happens something like knight takes c3 rook to c3 even if uh, black takes it's not a good choice because you get simply play rook to h3 again and then you have to retreat again with the queen and then maybe white will sneak in with this other queen and then the h file is open and i think black is simply tactically lost so you see you have to be careful i think this rook to h3 would be a great move so that's why i don't think that you uh, here after move b4 this move knight to a4 is working so that's why knight to e4 we have said is also not working that's why uh here uh fire tried to move knight to d7 with the again reposition idea here fire is trying then maybe to play knight to b6 and then knight to c4 here a very powerful outpost but actually even if that happens it's not improving so much the position of, of uh, blacks because i think in the continuation of the game uh, white would be delighted to simply uh, take out uh, the knight with the bishop because we have said with so many pawns on life course uh, black would then continue simply the game with a bad bishop sort of with this blocked out bishop by its own pawn so uh, when it comes to peace activity i think if white manages to trade off the bishop for a knight then uh, positionally white is much much better because of this better knight the knight can be always be maneuvered somewhere uh, in the continuation of the game and still a uh, black's bishop is in the continuation of the game is simply a bad piece it's only uh, really a bad bishop here in the continuation of the game so that's why uh, as i said even if black manages to pull off this route here on c4 it's actually not improving so much the position for black so here knight to e2 we have now this idea knight to b6 knight to d4 and here bishop to d7 we have now h5 you see stockfish is making progress here on the queen side we have now uh a5 again uh here great move i think by fire fire is at least trying somehow to open the position because h6 is coming here from white perspective we have now uh b takes uh, a5 we have knight to c4 now comes this idea uh, because fire was hoping probably before now we have opened somehow the position with the move b takes uh b takes a5 now knight to c4 is happening but here stockfish simply trade off the piece as i said look at this uh, knight now the knight is i think much much better th than the bishop as i said the bishop is still blocked out by its own pawn chain here really really a bad bishop strategy a great ba bad bishop strategy here played by the stockfish engine so after b takes c4 we have now h6 we have g6 if you take now of course um, let's go back 
uh, if you take again the, there are simply too many weaknesses f5 will happen queen takes h6 we can simply take out here the pawn on h7 so really really brilliant brilliant positional game so f remove um, b takes e4 we have said h6 we have g6 here by fire now queen to c3 rook to a8 and now king to d2 now the king uh, hunt is starting so in this particular position you see now we will witness now really a great uh, king maneuver what black, white is hoping for to is to get the king somewhere here here because after trades of bishops you see we have said in the beginning that the dark school bishop of whites was a bad piece and the dark school bishop of blacks was a great piece so after this positional trades of pieces actually uh, black had uh, really some trouble in the continuation of the game to activate the light school bishop now what white is trying to do is to sneak in with the king even here or with the queen so if the queen comes here of course if black leaves uh, the f6 unprotected then of course it's game over uh, black uh, is then tactically lost if the queen comes on f6 so but of course uh here's also something happening here on the queen side you see at least black is attacking uh this this pawn but as i said it's really really brilliant how uh, this position can be even attacked with the king because if the queen also steps back from the defense of the f6 even the king can come on this very very important square so really really uh brilliant stuff here in the continuation after move king to d2 here uh rook to a5 uh, was played by this other engine fire even if you play queen to a5 if you want to simplify the game it's actually not so good because we can simply play here queen takes a5 you play rook to a5 we are protecting here uh rook to a1 and even if black plays now rook to a8 we can play simply rook to b1 and you see now uh, you cannot take because of the tactic of course you get checkmated here or rook to b8 you can only cover and uh, here it would be a checkmate so that's why there is no good way uh, to, to attack the spawn twice also meanwhile uh white will probably get uh, the rook on the seventh rank then bishop is again a bad piece and again you see in this close position black uh, pardon me white will always find a great path for the knight so in this close structures the knight is jumping somewhere and then again the knight finds uh, finds a good square but on the other hand you see when you have so many pawns on light squares the bishop can never uh, go into the game the bishop is simply a locked piece so really really brilliant uh, game here as i said so you cannot take here queen with the move queen to a5 so that's why rook to a5 uh, here we have rook to b1 uh, played by stockfish we have rook to a7 queen to b4 sneaking in with the queen here we have rook to e8 queen to c5 the queen attacks simply further the dark squares we have uh, queen to uh, d6 of course the main goal is now if you take then you lose simply the bishop so that's why so far it's not possible to take out the pawn so that's why queen to d8 here we have c3 uh, bishop to uh, bishop to a4 and now rook to rook to b6 because what uh, probably uh, black was hoping for is maybe even to play something like uh, bishop to b6 trying maybe to force sort of a trade of pieces uh, knight against bishop to somehow maybe include these other rooks into the game so as i said after move bishop to a4 here rook to b6 at least stockfish is moving up another rook into the game because now maybe there was sort of a positional threat a drawish positional threat here by black to play maybe here to move bishop to b3 but still i think uh, white would be winning anyway so uh, here after move rook to b6 we have uh, rook to d7 we have queen to b4 uh, rook to a7 now g3 the, uh, this move is very very important because uh, what white wants to do now is uh, to include maybe this other rook into the game uh, and that cannot be played if G you wouldn't have played g3 because the queen would can uh, would then come into the game maybe through the square h4 so that's why g3 a great great defensive move sort of here in order to liberate your rook a little bit in, in order to include your other rook into the game so uh, here queen to a8 we have a rook to a1 now we have uh, this idea as i said bishop to b3 but uh, here stockfish doesn't want to trade off uh, a very powerful knight for such a bad bishop like this so really really great game here by stockfish rook to e3 uh, king to e3 pardon me bishop to a4 we have now king to f3 look stockfish is attacking uh, here the king with its other king now this is the path that uh, stockfish is hoping for we have rook to a5 king to g4 uh, look at this king uh, rook to a6 rook to b1 we have rook takes b6 queen to b6 again this idea uh, bishop to uh, b3 but now queen to d6 this is a very very important move uh, this move is taking off of course this d uh, d8 squared now the king can come here on f6 so here rook to uh, queen to a7 we have king to g5 bishop to 
a4 rook to b6 we have a rook to a8 king to f6 here king to h8 queen to b4 queen to c7 and now after move uh, rook to b7 here queen to d8 uh, happening now after move queen to e7 stockfish cut what it wanted uh, stockfish is now trading off the queen after queen to e7 rook to e7 we have a bishop to e8 and now after move a4 in this position fire resigned so uh, what to do uh, if you take uh, of course with the uh, with the rook uh, then you lose simply the bishop and you get checkmated if you take with the bishop then you lose this very important pawn then you lose also this very important pawn then knight to g5 will happen then you lose probably also your h7 pawn and even if you try something like king to g8 in order maybe to protect somehow uh, then simply here g4 can can be played you can play maybe king to f8 now knight to b4 is also uh, knight to b5 is also a great move because if you take out now then we can play out this one knight to c7 uh, also with an attack against the bishop so you cannot get your rook back because uh, the knight is covering that square so you can maybe try bishop to c6 or similar stuff but now you lose this one then you can we can play simply this one and here after rook we have to take it would be even a checkmate but as i said it's simply a bad bad position anyway so as i said after move a4 in this position uh this engine fire resigned so really really great game this king king march was really incredible by stockfish uh, first paralyzing the position keeping the position static and you see stockfish had the opportunities to trade off this piece uh the knight for a bishop and maybe even grab a pawn but that was not uh, what we wanted to do in this type of structure this was a beautiful beautiful uh bad bishop strategy uh, from an early stage of the game uh, i think it was a great great positional game played by stockfish so we have seen now the brutal tactical stockfish we have seen also now the positional brilliancy uh here by the fish and i was very very uh, satisfied when i saw this uh, beautiful beautiful chess game so okay i hope that you realize these ideas of the the french defense and i hope that you enjoyed this game i really really enjoyed it a lot if you want to see more brutal positional and tactical games like this check out my comment to chess games the best chess games played by engines here's the link of our whole playlist we have now more than 230 videos uh here played by the best engines like alpha zero lila zero stock for 13 14 and many many more and if you want to see humans battling it out in their best chess games check out my comment to chess games the best chess games of all time series here's also the link of of this also very cool series with some also great games from the past and if you like this content don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you soon with some more videos and chess is the best of course